Look at what made the sheet. Of all the big name, brand names, where we could talk about North Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas, Duke, Michigan State, uh, on and on, UConn. Let's talk Western Illinois, Southern Indiana. We got to talk Western Illinois and Southern Indiana. Uh, we're laying two here for Western Illinois on the road. Total 133 and a half. Kyle Hunter, this is your play for this Thursday program. What jumped out about this game? Uh, TJ, when people saw Western Illinois and Southern Indiana, they probably knew it was my play, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> yes. But I will say there's not really a ton of big-name teams playing tonight. There's a lot of games, a lot of small games, not many big-name brand teams that are really good. Um, I think Western Illinois has kind of flown under the radar as far as how much they're improved. Boudreaux has come in as the new coach there and done a really good job. Before the season, he said, we're going to focus on defense, defense first team. They've done that. They've been able to take care of it on the defensive end. Drew Cisse, kind of under the radar, really good shot blocker, like an excellent player on the inside. Uh, Western Illinois is blocking 15% of opponent's shots. That's a really high rate. So if you're blocking 15% of the other team's shots, you're going to be pretty good on defense. And, um, you know, I think that they're so good at controlling the pace uh, that I trust them to slow this game down. Southern Indiana has kind of been back and forth as far as whether they play quick or slow. But Western Illinois, five of their last six games, have played to a 64 possession pace or slower. That's pretty slow. Uh, they're 304th in offensive efficiency. So they're not good at offense. They are good at defense. Look at the other side, Southern Indiana, 356th in the country in offensive efficiency. Both teams really good on the defensive glass. So I don't think we'll get too many second chance points here. I have to take the under in this one. I'm going to take under 133 and a half. And also anytime we talk about Southern Indiana, TJ, the screaming Eagles, Fantastic name for a team. I mean, Screaming Eagles. Love it. And it's the Screaming Eagles arena, by the way, for the Savages for this game tonight. All right, Jeff Nadu, we're off the beaten path here. We got a total of 133 and a half. Anything on this Ohio Valley Conference game? Again, Western Illinois 5-1 and one in the conference, like Kyle mentioned, as the road team. Yeah, Southern Indiana, a bad, bad team. Um, but here's the issue. I mean, I've said before, this is a bad conference. I mean... If you're looking at this conference, it's Western Illinois and it's uh, Moorhead, right? Which, interestingly enough, they have a game on Saturday, big look-ahead game for Western Illinois here, on the road, sleepy spot against a team that isn't good. And Western Illinois, while they've been good and they've won, won games, again, it's the competition. You look at on the surface, I mean, there's not a lot to like about Western Illinois. They don't hold on to the basketball. This is one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the country. Their bottom four in free throw percentage. Just can't get involved. Um, I think this is a scary spot if you're West Illinois because, yes, they're 6-1 in conference, but who have you beaten? Throw in the fact you got to go on the road here, lay a little bit of a number, and you got a big look-ahead game against the top team in the league on Saturday who haven't played this week. So something tells me Southern Indiana is the, the play in this game. Uh, Kai, you took the under, right? Correct. Yeah, yes. I, I mean, I, I have no – I think if, if the game is played out, I think it – you know, Western Illinois will struggle to score, probably miss a lot of opportunities, and Southern Indiana will stay in the game kind of like Tennessee State did the other night against West Illinois and kept it in the 50s. Yeah, I, I like the play as well. Kyle sees that it's maybe ugly at times, low scoring. He says under tonight in this Ohio Valley game. He will go under the total of 133 and a half. <laughs> 